What's up y'all? Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl M Faulkner here and something pretty cool happened to me recently. So as y'all know, I'm in Toronto and there's this platform here called Black Owned Tio. And basically they promote um, like black owned businesses in the city or like in the area, the GTA. And they recently opened a store in one of the big malls in Toronto and it was like a huge success. And they announced that they were opening a second location in the Eaton Center. And the Eaton Center is probably the busiest mall in Toronto because it's like right in the heart of downtown like everyone goes through that mall it's super busy and it's a pretty big mall and they did a call out for applications so I applied and I got in yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so I uh, was gonna be one of the few artists selling my artwork in this retail location, my first time really in a retail location. And I thought it would be a really good opportunity to test out canvas prints. So I have made some canvas prints before for like displays or like special orders, but I've been thinking about making them one of my core products, but I wasn't sure if I wanted to like fully invest in it. So I thought if they sell well at this retail store, then great, I'll add them to my website. So the thing is, I only had like one week to prepare for this store before it opened. So I had no supplies and I literally called like every art store in the GTA to ask if they had like stretcher bars and I put them on hold and then I ran around the whole city all day picking up like two bars from here three from this store just like picking up stretcher bars because literally each store only had like maybe four max stretcher bars maybe there's a stretcher bar shortage in ontario i don't know but <laughs> yeah it literally took me all day of running around and then i also went to canadian tire and i got a staple gun and some heavy duty staples so i had all my supplies after running around all day and it was finally time to make these canvas prints. Okay, so it is the next day in the studio and luckily I already had some canvas on a roll from previously when I was testing out canvas. So luckily I didn't have to buy more canvas to print on. So I loaded it in my printer. I took out the old paper, put in the canvas, and then I thought it would be a good idea to just test out the colors. So I printed out small samples of the canvases that I was going to do just to make sure that the colors actually looked good before I printed the big ones. So those look good. And then I had to format my print files with the border around them for the actual canvas. Alright, so this one turned out good, so let's print the other ones. Okay y'all, so these are my supplies and I bought this staple gun from Canadian Tire. I've never used a staple gun before, so hopefully it goes well. And I got a pack of heavy duty staples and I have this hammer that I think I might need to hammer in the stretcher bars. I don't know. I have literally never done this before, so 
I'm a bit nervous, but I think it'll go well. I've just watched like a bunch of YouTube videos. So hopefully I don't mess it up. <laughs> So I finished the first canvas print and it actually came out really good. I didn't mess it up. I didn't get it stretched as tightly as I wanted. It's kind of loose-ish, but you would not be able to tell from far away. Like it's pretty fine from far away. With the rest of them, I'm gonna try and like pull it more tightly before I start stapling all the rest of the sides. And I couldn't figure out how to get the staples in the stapler at first. I had to like YouTube it. And then I had a bit of a hard time doing the corners neatly, but I feel like I figured it out. I just need to get into the flow of things. So I'm just gonna spend the next few hours knocking out these four prints. So it literally took me all day just to make these canvases. And the deadline for me to drop them off was literally the next day. So the canvases turned out great, but I also had a bunch of paper prints that I had to make because I was also gonna be selling my paper prints in the store. So like my big 18 by 24 paper prints and my small paper prints. So I actually stayed up all night printing and making these paper prints. Then it was the morning after like three hours of sleep, I realized that I needed a way to actually protect the canvas prints when they were in the store. So I ran to Staples right when they opened and I bought this plastic wrap to wrap my canvas prints. finished my wrapping and everything just in time to drive downtown to the Eaton Center and finally drop off my inventory. So a few days later was the day of the grand opening and me and my sister went to the Eaton Center to check it out. And there was literally a huge line like wrapped around the mall 
because so many people came. Like, I did not know so many people were gonna come. Like, it was full and there was a long line because the store still had to keep like capacity limits and everything. But yeah, I was like, wow. I didn't get to stay for too long, but it was really great seeing my products like in a retail store at the Eaton Center, like not some small rinky dink little mall in the middle of nowhere, like the actual Eaton Center. <laughs> and as of now of me filming this, I have actually sold out of all my products that I dropped off at the store. Like, it just feels good. Like, you know, people buy my stuff. So I'm like, I sold out in like a week already. And so now, I have to go restock and it's it's pretty cool <laughs> so i think it's safe to say that canvas prints are a good idea um i think i am definitely going to be adding them to my website so i went online this time and i ordered a bunch of stretcher bars uh, which is way easier uh, um, so i am looking forward to making more canvas prints and offering them to my collectors and this was a great learning experience overall you know it was kind of hectic the first time around you know doing everything last minute but now i know what to expect if i'm ever in any other retail stores or anything but um yeah hopefully you guys learned as well from my trial and error I hope this video was valuable. Maybe if you're thinking of doing canvas prints for your art. But either way, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram to see more behind the scenes stuff of my work. And definitely don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more art videos like this one. And I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace.